commit ourselves to this proactively. The Minister of State for Economic Monitoring, Peter Ogwang, held a meeting with the leaders of Machinia Sabago Municipality to assess the progress of government projects. The visit was characterized by accusations and counter-accusations among the local leaders about who is responsible for the poor service delivery in the municipality. Even we got a problem here because there are two times when councils have been at, like have been cancelled and councillors are not informed. The leaders also blamed Mayor Godfrey Kabuzi for the loss of revenue following his decision to go to court seeking to have property tax scrapped on the grounds that it's unlawful. Now when he came in the seat, he's telling the same people that you should obey the tax. What should we learn as leaders from that? Do not throw stones where you want to go. Because at one time, they are going to catch up with you. Following this, Minister Ogwang recommended that the leaders undergo induction on their duties to avoid infighting and poor service delivery. But even then, the, 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 the division that's much in the Savagabo has planned for its own induction, which according to the town clerk, he told me, is going to be done beginning after my, 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 my visit here. From here, the minister visited two projects, one being the construction of municipality latrines budgeted at 80 million shillings and the other being Chikajo Road, which is under construction, but the drainage channels are in a dire state. Do you know a child can, can, can fall down here when it's raining and water can take the kid? Raymond Tamale, NTV.